Thank you. I give the floor to International Organization for the Right to Education and Freedom of Education. Thank you, Mr. Vice President. Last year, we celebrated the 75th anniversary of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. This milestone document set out for the first time fundamental human rights to be universally protected. With the then recent Nazi experience in mind, the international communi community understood that the best way to protect children is to enable pluralistic education systems, respectful of human rights and fundamental freedoms. Because of that, Article 26 of the UDHR recognizes that parents have the prior right to choose the education that shall be given to their children. To assess how this article is being fulfilled by member states, OIDEL published the Freedom of Education Index 2023. From our findings, we would like to share four insights. The good news first. In, um, since 2016, national legislations have become more favorable to freedom of education. The challenges are the following. One, for most families, the ability to choose the education they want for their children still depends on their income. Two, Politically, educational pluralism has become a subject of polarization across borders, even though human rights should not be subject to debate. Three, some countries still do not trust their citizens to choose the education they want for their children, with North Korea, Cuba, Afghanistan, and North Macedonia explicitly prohibiting freedom of education. We encourage the international community not to forget that the right to education is not the right of the states, but the right of the children, and that the family plays a critical role in the fulfillment of that right. Thank you. Thank you. I give